that's what you're looking at. You look at all that damage it's saying. Glenn, look at the scar there. If you're an apple tree, it sees the same thing and there's all these cells here that have been damaged and it says, oh, I don't know, I've got all these cells to repair and sometimes it says, oh, I just won't bother with those, I'll move on to something else. If we cut the thing cleanly, there's a lot less cells to repair. And the tree says, it's a mere scratch, I'll grow again. And it actually makes the tree grow more vigorously from that point. So if we want to increase the vigour in the tree, we'll get our second tears out, particularly in the winter time. And we'll cut it, and when the tree wakes up in the springtime, it says, I need a bit more canopy there, so it'll grow. But if we rip it now, it gives it the message before the tree goes to sleep for the winter, and it slows it down, and it'll do something else. So, we're, so we spoke about winter and the tree going to sleep. That's starting to happen now, or well, that's still you know, probably another couple of months away. Um, and the tree is drawing the carbohydrate back out of the leaves and eventually the leaves will part and fall on the ground. That carbohydrate goes back to the butts. Last year we had a disease go through the orchard and by now it was pretty much defoliated. So this year, when, well this season, last October, when the buds woke up they weren't very interested. In fact they were really bloody disinterested. So it's been a tough year for that because of the defoliation last, last summer and autumn. Did you treat the disease? It was a fungal disease. Um, sadly, it's something that I probably should have been aware of. It's a disease my dad and my granddad dealt with every day. We've got all these new fangled fancy diseases now. We've got a whole lot of new ones. Mm. So I spend all my time focusing on those, and I took my eye off the old ones, and I got punished for it. The flower buds come mostly on the second, third, and fourth year old wood. The first year wood, the only real good of the first year wood, it may have a flower bud on the end, which is read fruit next year, um, but the only good thing about that is it becomes second year wood next year. But we don't want all of it, and some of it is a pain and it's in the way. So that's essentially what the pruning process is about, and this is also the start of the crop regulation process, how much we leave for next year. And this colour is one year old wood. So this bit of wood has grown from this technical thing down here called the terminal bud, up to there in this season. And to me, it's not my friend. I don't like that piece of wood. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for, under here, I can see some flower buds, which is gonna give me apples and hopefully money mm -hmm. next season. This one, it's just a pain. He's gonna get bigger and bigger, and he's gonna create shading, and he's gonna give me poor, poor quality fruit under here. But there's a very simple answer. <laughs> okay. so, Were you watching? He's pretty quick. <laughs> one more time. Here's another one. All right. And here's another one. So what I'm doing is taking the strong upright shoots out and I'm favouring these. So there's still some one year wood under here. And I'll take that one out. There's still some wood under here, so there's still back under here. When you get up close, you can see there's little pointy things. I don't think there's any here, I hope. The flower buds. But now, the first thing is there's more light you can get under these flower buds, so we'll get better bud formation. That's what they're doing now, is they're building their babies for next year. It's like a 12 month gestation here. So that's going to make them happier buds. And next year, when they fruit, the fruit will get some more sunlight.